First on Fox, a startling sight. Cross a bridge over the Mississippi River and you can't help but notice how low the water is. Fox 2's meteorologist Angela Huddy has more on the levels and how barge traffic keeps moving this busy harvest season. The mighty Mississippi is not so mighty right now. This is low water season. We're probably about uh, anywhere from six to eight feet lower than usual, typical. At downtown St. Louis Friday, the river level was negative 2.5 feet. Very low, but not a record. The lack of rain is the cause, and steps have to be taken to keep the river open to barge traffic. It's especially critical now as, uh, you know, we have to enable waterborne transit of uh, commerce down the river to New Orleans in support of the nation's economy. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers St. Louis District reports no restrictions in the navigation channel north of Cairo. They are maintaining it thanks to dredging, using the 90-year-old dredge potter to move silt and sediment out of the channel. The crew of the, uh, the potter, they're out there full time making sure things are moving and they're the, uh, they're the ones making it happen. The Corps partners with the Coast Guard, who sets the navigational buoys, and the river industry itself, who is the first to see trouble spots. They provide us real-time information going through sites, notifying us in advance of areas of concern where we can get out there and, and address the issue before it turns into a, a channel closure. While we wait for rain, the images are dramatic. On Wednesday, we showed you how low water in the Mississippi River is allowing tourists to walk to the landmark Tower Rock in Perry County, Missouri. Near Memphis, submerged cars and plenty of other debris can be found if you dare to walk exposed beaches along the Low River. Near the Baton Rouge Riverfront, the river has revealed an early 1900s era Baton Rouge ferry boat named the SS Brookhill. And around New Orleans, the river's low level is allowing Gulf of Mexico water, salt water into the channel, leading to high sodium counts in the area's drinking water. Angela Huddy, Fox 2 News.